what is up guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video this video last time we did something a little bit in the crock pot today we're actually going to be doing something in the oven it's simple it's easy but it will require about 25 minutes of prep time and about 45 minutes to one hour in your oven but like i said it feeds family between four to six people it's a lot of food it's very good quality i believe that you guys will absolutely enjoy it. And if you do, comment down below. Tell me exactly how you like it. Don't forget, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And again, we are cooking a rotisserie chicken stuffing casserole. I think I got that right. Rotisserie chicken stuffing casserole. And if you haven't tried it, be sure that you tried this dish. With that being said, if you guys are ready to get this video started, as always, I'm gonna be that guy to do it for you. Let's get it. All right, to start this video, we start with an onion and a celery stick, which we're only gonna use half an onion and one celery stick. You can use a whole onion and about two to three celery sticks, that's fine. You're gonna need a rotisserie, a box of stuffing, cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom soup, salt, pepper, sour cream, and the best part, yeah, look at that. It don't lie to you. $4.98. You can't beat a rotisserie. Simple, easy, quick. We're going to go ahead and start making the stovetop stuffing, which you know you bring one and a half cups of water, four tablespoons. We're going to bring that to a boil, and we're just going to dump it right in there and get that cooking. And now that you have your four tablespoons of butter and water to a boil, you can go ahead and shut the stove off, dump in your stuffing mix, and then you can go ahead and fluff it with a fork. Now, when I shot this video, I did one box, but I would recommend two. It will do a lot better on the covering at the end and actually just make it a little bit better. And now what we're working on is going to be the celery and onion. You're going to real easy, real simple. Four tablespoons of butter. You're going to cook that down. Just get it nice and heated into a pot. Pour your celery in there. Dump your onion in there. And then we're just going to cover it. And it's just going to sit for about 15 minutes. You can stir it every once in a while. As soon as it cooks down, as soon as it's ready to go, that's it. Take it off the heat. Done. Working on your rotisserie chicken, first you're going to unstrap it, just unstrap it, they all come with a little strap on it. Go ahead, get that off, then we're just going to dig right into it, dig in with your fingers, make sure you don't get no bones in it. The skin I kind of throw to one side, then I'm just going to pick as much meat as I can right off it, till you just have a nice pile on a plate. Now that you picked through your rotisserie chicken, you got it all shredded apart, go ahead and preheat your oven to about 350. Your celery and onion, it's been about 15 minutes. You can slide it off the burner, keep it covered, and then we're going to work on our casserole dish. And the casserole dish, this is where everything's pretty much about done. Go ahead and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and then dump your chicken right on in there. Spread it evenly throughout the casserole dish. You're going to go ahead and shake some pepper and salt all over your chicken. Make sure you get a nice little coat on there. 
And then when you're done with your pepper and salt, that's when we're going to add our onion and celery. Now, this is all up to you. It depends how much onion and celery you can actually stand. I don't want too much to actually overpower the dish. That's why I did one celery stick and a half of onion. That's fine with me. Just dump it right on there evenly the best you can and then just spread it out. Now moving on to almost our last and final step, we're going to go ahead and make our sauce. Our sauce is going to consist of one can of cream of chicken, one can of cream of mushroom, and then eight ounces of sour cream. My container of sour cream is 16 ounces. I have about half in it, which will give me eight ounces. Mix it thoroughly, and then I'm going to go ahead and spread it evenly over top the casserole dish. At that time, you're going to take your stuffing and you're going to spread that evenly on top. What that stuffing is going to do in the oven is it's actually going to harden. It's going to make this dish actually what it is. And your oven ought to be preheated by now, 350 degrees. Slide it in there and check it 45 minutes to an hour. It depends on your oven. As soon as it's done baking, this thing is done. It's a wrap. Now that she is done, mine has baked for about an hour now, and you can definitely tell. You see how the stuffing just has that crispy layer up top, and then the bubbles. It, it's just bubbling. When that bubbles all the way around, you can definitely tell that this dish is ready to go, and it is ready to be plated. Well, guys, that's going to go ahead and wrap up another video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget, the best part of this video is the rotisserie chicken. You can't beat it. The way chicken prices have just skyrocketed, I mean, just expensive, just crazy expensive. Rotisserie chicken, go to your local market. I'm sure you can find a nice solid rotisserie for five bucks. This whole meal that feeds your whole family, seriously, between 10 to 13 bucks. That's it. It's super cheap. Super simple, super easy, but you do have about 25 minutes of prep time. That's about it. You do need a little bit more time than what our other videos actually consist of. But still good quality and still delicious. Be sure that you comment down below. Let me know how you like it. Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, be sure that you subscribe to the channel for me and smash that thumbs up button. Just show me a little bit of love. Guys, I will see you fine ladies and gentlemen at the next video. See ya.